I'd like to offer you my heartiest congratulations. What you've achieved has been recognised by your fellow citizens and you've now been honoured by the Queen and I've been honoured myself to give you that award on behalf of the Queen. Well done, enjoy the day. The New Zealand Royal Honours System is steeped in history and tradition. From 1848 till 1975 we were part of the British based system. A highlight of the 1953-54 Royal Tour of New Zealand was an investiture ceremony conducted by a young Queen Elizabeth. It's a gala day for the capital. At the Town Hall, the Queen honours 130 North Islanders. First, the Chief Justice, the Honourable Harold Barraclough, for services to law and public bodies. He rises Sir Harold Barraclough. The former commander of the New Zealand 3rd Division in the Pacific Theatre of War, equally distinguished in civil life, receives insignia of a Knight Commander of the Order of St. Michael and St. George. Until the present royal tour, these ceremonies had never before been filmed. 2,000 guests look on as Mr. Bruce Levy of Palmerston North, who has done as much as anyone in the world to make two blades of grass grow where one grew before, receives the accolade of knighthood. Sir Bruce Levy. The awards nowadays are presented at either Government House Wellington, the official residence of our Head of State, the Queen's representative, Dame Patsy Reddy, this country's 21st Governor-General, or her Auckland residence for those receiving accolades in the Upper North Island. A fully Indigenous honours system was adopted in 1996 with the introduction of the New Zealand Order of Merit. The awards are one way in which the nation can recognise the achievements of people in all walks of life for all kinds of amazing service to the nation. It uh, recognises the achievements of people who've given a lifetime of service and uh, devotion to duty uh, and for those who've uh, worked in community service with no expectation of reward. And I think it's such a wonderful opportunity to thank people and the fact that I can do it in person is amazing. Our highest award is still the Victoria Cross with Corporal Willy Apiata, the latest recipient for extreme bravery in Afghanistan. The Order of New Zealand, introduced in 1987, comes next with its ordinary membership restricted to 20 living persons. Then the New Zealand Order of Merit, which has five levels, with men in the top two called Sir. Dames and Knights Grand Companions, Dames and Knights Companions, Companions, Officers, and members, and the Queen's Service Order and Queen's Service Medal for Community and Public Service. New Zealand's Honours System also includes a series of gallantry and bravery awards. The most important part is that you're able to bring in people from all walks of life, from all parts of the country, and recognise them in the sense in the same ceremony for so many different things, whether it's outstanding uh, skills and qualities in, in their chosen careers or whether it's outstanding achievement by their service to others or whether it's outstanding achievement in their duty to the country. So to each and every recipient I'd like to offer my heartiest congratulations. It's an amazing achievement and you should be very proud. The actual presentation of the awards on behalf of the Queen is one of the most important functions of Her Excellency the Governor-General. Ena mana, ena reo, ena iwi o ngā hoe whanga. Tēnei aku mihi mahana ki a koutou. Kia ora tātou katoa. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I extend a warm greeting to you all. I specifically acknowledge the Honourable Maggie Barry, Minister of the Crown, tēnā koe. It's a great pleasure for David and me to welcome you all to Government House for this investiture ceremony. What makes today particularly special <coughs> is that it's an opportunity to acknowledge the significant contribution of a number of individuals. Today's recipients have enriched our communities and our country as a whole by their actions. Today we thank them and celebrate the work they've done for us. As Governor-General, I have the authority and the privilege 
on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold an investiture for her and to confer the honours to which each recipient is entitled. Ladies and gentlemen, as each one is honoured, may I invite you to join me in thanking them and congratulating them for their service to our country. Mr Hewitt Humphrey will now summon the recipients and read a citation for each person. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr Paul Rose of Hamilton for services to ophthalmology and optometry. As a young optometrist, Mr Rose treated a number of patients with keratoconus, a condition in which the cornea is cone-shaped, making it difficult to fit contact lenses. Over the course of a decade, he developed the Rose K lens and fitting system, which made it easier to treat these patients. The lens and fitting system were made available first in New Zealand and then in Australia, the United States, the United Kingdom, Europe, the Middle East, South America and Asia. The Rose K lens series is now the most popular lens for keratoconus around the world and is prescribed in more than 90 countries with a success rate of more than 80%. Excellency, the investiture is concluded. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, an investiture ceremony is the most important event I hold on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. It's important because it allows me, as Governor General, to recognise and thank an extraordinary group of people on behalf of all New Zealanders. It's important that we acknowledge and celebrate the people who make a contribution who set an example to others by using their talents to make ours a better society. An award of this nature is a rare accolade. It recognises determination, commitment, perseverance, compassion and a contribution to society. To the recipients, we have all been privileged to hear your stories. You have been set a fine example which inspires, encourages, and motivates others. In your own way, each of you promotes the things that are important to New Zealanders. Your actions and the stories we have heard today remind me of the words of Sir Winston Churchill. He said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Your contribution has enriched the cultural social and economic fabric of Aotearoa New Zealand. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements, your character and your commitment. Kia ora pui tātou katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings to an end the formal part of today's proceedings, but before we uh, go through for refreshments, I'd like to ask you to stand and we'll sing the national anthem in Māori and in English. <coughs> uh.